Hey, this is Frank and welcome back to Travel Tips. Today I want to speak about Malaysia and more specifically Kuala Lumpur, one of my favorite cities in the world. I've been going there for about 15 years, absolutely love the city, the people, and the food is to die for. Uh, now, they work in ringgits over there, and when you arrive at the airport, it's pretty organized, but the airport is really far out of town. If you take a taxi, uh, expect to pay around 100 ringgit, uh, about 20, 25 pounds, and it's going to take an hour. What I suggest to everybody is take the train. You take the luxury train in, it's about 15 pounds to travel from the airport uh, into Kuala Lumpur. And from there you can just pick up a taxi. Taxis are a ripoff, the normal kind of taxis. But firstly, I've got to tell you, taxis are dirt, dirt cheap. Anywhere you want to go in Kuala Lumpur or Malaysia, taxis are dirt cheap. But a trick that most of them will do is they will not switch their meat on and they'll normally give you a price if they see you're a foreigner, which normally is two to three times what you would pay. Whenever I get in, I just say to them, switch the meter on. If they refuse to, I just take uh, another taxi. Hotels are fantastic. Some of my favorite hotels are there. Uh, the Meridian uh, Hotel I love, which is right where you come in uh, on the train stand. But my favorite, favorite hotel there is the Shangri-La. I stay there just about every time I go. An amazing hotel. The Mandarin is also wonderful, a little bit on the expensive side. But right next to it is Traders that belongs to the same group. Wonderful, wonderful hotel. And it has one of the best uh, rooftop bars with a swimming pool over there. The culture over there, respect the culture, it's pretty free and easy, it's pretty safe, but always be careful. Uh, you can walk around just about anywhere you want to go. I can walk around like this. Uh, ladies, you can walk around without covering up, although it is a Muslim country. But it's a weird mixture because it's a mixture of Muslim, Indian and Chinese. So they have this weird mixture, but what that ends up in is possibly the best food in the world. You can eat so cheaply there. It also has just about every kind of restaurant you want. Beautiful modern shopping malls. And go out and explore when you're there. One of the times I was there, I uh, took a taxi out to Klang, which is about an hour away. And then picked up a boat, went right out into the ocean. Went for about an hour, nothing except water. And all of a sudden we came across this little mud city. Um, all of the houses, everything built on stilts and you rent bicycles because there's no cars there. But you go and you have the most delicious crab you have ever had. You put on a raincoat, but even at the end of it, your face, your arms, your ears, everything is just covered with this beautiful sauce that comes with those crabs. So you've got to do that. It's called Palau Katan or Crab Island. Many, many shopping centers over there. Twin Towers is a fantastic shopping center. Very central, very easy to get to. You've also got the, um, the, the uh, I'm trying to think of the tower. You've also got the Petronas Towers, which you can go up and there's great, great views from there. Um, and from there as well, you can go to some of the other places, uh, Penang, I've been to Penang, but I don't like it as much as I love Kuala Lumpur, the food is different, smaller kind of island. Kuala Lumpur for me just has a fantastic buzz, great airport, uh, great infrastructure, everything works over there. So please put that on your list of places to visit, which is Malaysia. Hey, this is Frank, and I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. There's lots and lots more to come. I've visited so many countries, so many cities, and I've got so much more to come. So please subscribe. Please go on and watch every one of the series. Give me some comments. Give me some feedback. Also, take a look at my websites, frankfurness.com and productivitycenter.com. Also, follow me on LinkedIn, Frank Furness. Every day I come up with some great new ideas and strategies. So, hey, this is Frank. Thanks for listening.